Posters estimated at 80 to 120 pounds, including one with particular appeal. These guys are mainly from Liverpool. We've got Silla Black, we've got PJ Proby, and we've even got a friend of mine here, used to be the drummer in the Remo 4. These were all guys that were around the cavern, around that early, exciting 1960s Mersey beat. Just great things to have. I love the artwork, I love the 50s, 60s nostalgia, and these have got my name all over it. Appearing here soon, a bit of luck. Yes, Paul is on familiar turf with his 60s memorabilia, but Will is hoping to score a winning goal when he takes the 1960s posters he saw earlier for a fabtastic 156 pounds. Will is selling adventure. So are you sitting comfortably? The show is about to begin. We have the magic lanterns all fired up, ready to display their wonderful pictures. And of course, we've advertised well using the posters and the main attractions here, which is Morecambe's answer to Richard Gear. These posters have turned out to be better than I thought. I bought them originally for this one here, the Remo 4, the Brian Epstein Axe, fantastic, dead, dead trendy. Amongst them are two posters which represent Axe here at the Winter Gardens in Morecambe. How great is that? I bought them down in South End. Uh, the Magic Lanterns, unfortunately, with they being religious, they're not going to be quite as easy to sell. I've had a couple of knockbacks already on these. I was going to have them framed up, but it wouldn't warrant the cost. Uh, the books, great. I've got 20 editions of Stephen King. The first edition is wonderful, but they're only worth one of these. This has to be the showstopper. This is The Spy of Me by Ian Fleming from 1962. But overall, it's great. It's on with the show. And Paul's selling show will be the first on the trail of potential profit when he travels to Standish near Wigan with his 1960s poster, having targeted Harry P, the drummer of Mersey Beat band the Remo Four. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is okay. a poster that was yeah. uh, promoted by Brian Epstein, and on the bill yeah. is the Remo Four. Oh yeah, wow! Well, I love my posters. <laughs> Look at that! Isn't that oh, fantastic? Oh wow! I like that. Hey, it's signed. Isn't it? Signed. Good... Wow! No, no, Look who signed at that. it? There? Who signed it? That's PJ Proby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, obviously, I can sign the Remo V, yeah. and I can get the what's left of the foremost to sign the foremost beer, right. and then that's going to go. Hopefully, I mean, a lot of my stuff will go in a museum. If I was to ask you sort of eighty pounds, no, I'd go. I'd go for half of that. To the forty pounds. Yeah. You, you, you couldn't I'm... sort of make it around fifty, and well, you know. And I'll sign it for you. I'll sign the back for you. I'll sign, I'll sign. No, that takes money off. Does it? <laughs> 45. 45. Do you know what? I'm not going to argue with you. Is Harry, that OK? I want you to have And it. I'll give you a signed picture of the Remo 4. Thank How you very much. And I'll, and I'll give you a signed picture of me. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think he wants a signed picture, thank you. But Paul does make £45 and sells the poster to a good home. It's gone to the right place. That poster will go into the museum and it will be seen for generations to come. And that's music to my ears, really. The total lot cost Paul just north of £150 at the auction. He's got more selling to do until he makes that all in.